I'm Marjorie Lynch, and I'm the mother of four. Now, as their mom, it's up to me to try to figure out what's the best choice for them, what's healthiest, what's best, what's going to give them the best start in life. And one of the most hotly debated issues in parenting in recent years is bottle or breast. What is, what's the best way to feed a child? In our 2006 article titled Suck on This, Pat Thomas attempts to answer that question by sharing some of the increased risks associated with formula feeding, as well as some of the shady tactics employed by formula companies in advertising. Now, the benefits of breastfeeding are well established at this point, but formula companies spend millions of dollars trying to convince us that their manufactured product is as good as what our bodies produce naturally for our babies. Formula, on the other hand, is anything but natural, and it can contain any number of potential contaminants, so including glass and even metals. Um, Babies who are formula fed are also at greater risk of contracting a number of diseases, including type 1 diabetes, lymphomas, um, inner ear infections, multiple sclerosis, heart disease, and several other things. In spite of all of this, breastfeeding rates are incredibly low, and many women don't even attempt to breastfeed, particularly younger mothers, and of those who do, only a tiny percentage are still nursing exclusively by six months. So in the article, Thomas goes into all of the reasons why she thinks women aren't breastfeeding and um, all of the things that the formula companies do to try to get us to buy their products instead. But she sums it up pretty nicely with a list of her recommendations for how she thinks we can increase breastfeeding risks. Her first recommendation is to ban all formula advertising and free samples. Formula companies like to advertise their products as a solution excuse me, to a number of problems. Um, one of those being acid reflux and lactose intolerance. So I found this advertisement. I'm on vacation, so we're working sort of low tech here. Okay. And... It says, Enfamil keeps your baby from spitting up, unlike milk substances. Because they're trying to tell you that milk is bad, it makes your baby throw up. But use Enfamil because then your baby won't throw up. All of my babies have had this issue, and there are ways around it, and they've all still been breastfed. It's not a problem. They're just preying on fears of parents. So they also give out free samples. You get them in the mail, they'll give them to you in the hospital because they're hoping that in the exhaustion of having a new baby, you'll have a moment of weakness and give your baby their formula. If you don't have the formula, it's not an option. The next recommendation is require health warnings on formula so that you know that by giving your baby formula instead of breastfeeding, you're putting them at increased risk for a number of diseases. Next is to invest in breastfeeding promotion because if they're advertising their product, we need to talk about breastfeeding more. If people don't know about it, they don't know that it's a valid option and that it's a better option, so we need to get that information out there. Next is to educate the public and support mothers, and I think that's the most important one because there's a lot of shaming for breastfeeding in public, um, and it's awful. It's happened to me on a number of times. People say you need to cover up. People say that, you know, their husbands and sons don't need to see your exposed breast. But I think that it's good for, for boys and people in general, children in general, to grow up seeing a child being breastfed because they're going to grow up knowing that that's normal and typical. And I think that's a good thing. It gives them a different way to look at breasts in a non-sexual way, and it'll help increase breastfeeding rates. So I think it's a good thing. And breastfeeding's hard. It takes a lot of commitment. It takes a lot of time. It's not easy. Sometimes it hurts. And moms need support. So we need to educate the public and support moms so that their families can help support them and their friends can help support them and the community in general can support them. We should always encourage people to do something that's good for them. We need to guarantee six months paid leave to allow moms and their babies the opportunity 
to establish a breastfeeding relationship for the minimum recommended time, time period. A lot of women have to go back to work when their babies are young, and so they don't breastfeed because they're not, their jobs don't support them, they don't have the opportunity to pump breast milk. It's just not an option for them, and that's terrible. We've got to make it easier for moms. So I totally agree with this point. Um, so some of the things I didn't like about the article, it's very long. In fact, in spite of the fact that I'm totally supportive of this, it was even hard for me to get the whole way through. There's a lot of statistics. It's a lot of information. It's, it's a little tedious. The other thing is it's pretty strongly worded, which if your goal is to persuade people to breastfeed instead of formula feed, it can be a little off-putting when you come on that strong. And so I think she's going to lose some people in her audience that way. Also, maybe people who are on the fence are going to just know. And people who do formula feed who maybe could have been switched over are just going to be offended that they're, or feel like they're being attacked. Um, on the other hand, her strong language gave me some excellent examples of negative connotations. She refers to formula as highly processed convenience food and baby junk food, which pretty negative. So um, I think that her worldview, which is one that I share, is that breastfeeding is the best option, it's the most natural, and that an alternative should be a last resort because what is most natural is often the best choice. Again, it's a worldview that I share. I have breastfed my children, and so that's my experience, and I understand that it gives me a certain bias towards breastfeeding, and that's just where I am. So... Some of my experiences with my first child, I was young, none of my friends were moms. Um, when things got hard, people said, just formula feed, and I did, because it was hard and I had no support. In fact, people were telling me to formula feed. With later children, my friends were all breastfeeding, and I was breastfeeding, and when things got hard, we encouraged each other, and my breastfeeding relationships were much longer with later children. So, in conclusion, um, formula is unnatural, and it is associated with increased risk in children for various diseases, whereas breast milk is the perfect food for babies. It's human milk for human babies, and it provides both the mother and child with numerous health benefits. And I think we can all agree that when it comes to health of our children, breast certainly is best. <laughs>